Hello, this is Mad Cat, the angry egalitarian that discusses this and that. Today we're looking at more dumb things that feminists say. Maybe we should have a uh, feminist Darwin Award. I don't know. And remember, before you say things to other people, say them out loud first. You might notice how stupid they sound. So today I'm not showing my usual Mad Cat picture. Someone on my channel showed me this, that they're trying to say that their mech could beat up my mech. Eh, maybe, maybe. This also could run away a lot faster. I'm just saying, you know, so, so much bigger. So it means it would have to move so much slower. So <clears throat> anyways, um, let's get a couple of things out of the way first. Click on this so it works. All right. So first, shilling. Um, I've reached five hundred and eighty-one dollars. That's a really big deal, even though it's like only twenty percent of my goal has been funded. That's the amount of money I can take home now because it's reached over five hundred dollars. I thank everyone who has donated. Um, but I. $581 sounds like a lot of money, but for when it comes to writing and making a writing career, it's barely enough. And don't get me wrong, I'm very thankful for it, but every little bit can help. Even a dollar will help out in a very long way for me. Because I live in a time where a $1 is the equivalent to $1,000 for someone who works a regular 9-to-5 job. So... Every little bit helps. There's still plenty of rewards to get. Um, <clears throat> and I got nine days left, so it's going to be very close. Um, if I can get to $1,000, that could at least get me two books out. Um, I would have to, like, <clears throat> really, really... Um, well, I need about $1,200 to release two books, but I think I could do it for $1,000. It just wouldn't be very pretty. But if I could get that at the very least, it would be a very tremendous help. But I do thank everyone who has donated to me. This money will go to very good use. It will at least get me professional editing for my first book. So, and potentially a cover design. All right, so... Next, I have this. I don't know how well you can see this. Um, this is the Honey Badger page. I don't think it really likes it. But anyways, Honey Badgers tonight, uh, pressed, by, pressed by the press. They are doing an event tonight where um, you can come on to the show live to give a short message. Um if you want to come on and talk to people, uh, reach out to um, at Honey Badger Bite, B I T E, to um, let them know you want to be on the show. And you'll get like a few minutes, maybe about a minute or two, to go ahead and say something to the Honey Badgers. Anything you want to say, any questions that you have. Try to keep them short and just realize that there's going to be a lot of people who want to come on, so you may not get a whole lot of time on there. But this is an opportunity for us to reach out to all of the all of you and hear what you have to say and to give any message that you want to give to us. Mostly the crew that went to Calgary and dealt with all the crap that they dealt with. So... And I might even make a short appearance on there as well, but, you know, only for a few minutes. Maybe. If you're good. All right, so let's go to our article today. 100% of mall men hate all the time. Now, this is referring to um, the idea that feminists are man-hating. And if... <clears throat> okay, I need to fix that. Hold on one moment. Because it's going to keep blanking out like that. Okay, hopefully that fixes it for a short time. 
All right, so 100% all man hate all the time. Now, if you checked out Sierra's video not too long ago about her responding to a feminist, she, um, sorry, I have like other things going on on my other screen. So she responded to a feminist, and one of the things she pointed out is that feminists are not man hate. And then I think this encapsulates what Sierra responded to. So let's go ahead and take a look at this article. The people and ideas I have encountered at Tufts have made me much more aware of nuances. I've become more cognizant of the problems that come with generalizing and lumping together groups of people who, between themselves, possess incredibly broad ranges of experiences and backgrounds of lumping together all women, for example, into one set of experiences, disregarding race, class, sexual orientation, gender identity, religious backgrounds, country of origin, and many other unique definers of identity that cannot be summed up into one column. Okay, that's a very good point right there. You know, we can't really look at all feminists and say that, you know, all feminists do this or all feminists do that. There are some distinctives out there. But that can be true of all um, anti-Gamergate. That could be true of Gamergate. That could be true of even the Honey Badgers. That could be true of the men's rights movement or the men's human rights movement, of the atheists. So that should be, you know, a blanket statement for all groups out there that there are individuals. Um, and this actually is describing something called a uh, group attribution error. It was an article I actually wrote, so that's why I can quickly sum it up. But basically, when we take a group and assume that all of the individuals represent the ideas of the group as a whole, and that's not always the case. The importance of respecting intersectional identities and ideas have become so crucial to my thinking that I sometimes forget that people, even educated, tough students, still don't support the most basic principles of feminism. Wait a minute. You go from saying that you can't judge an entire group of people to now talking about the basic principles of feminists? How the hell did you make that jump? Well, maybe she's going to tie it in somewhere together. Let's let's give her a little bit of leeway here. More and more, I hear people saying they don't support feminism because it's sexist towards men. It is. The idea that feminism is man-hating, it is, renders me speechless. If feminism is the same as man-hating, how do you explain me? I'm a feminist. Okay, I see what she's saying. We can't look at all of feminism as man-hating because there are individuals within the group that don't hate men, who love all men. Okay, I, well, you know, I apologize. I shouldn't have um, said that you're kind of jumping from one point to the next. You did tie it together nicely. All right, let's continue. There are plenty of men in my life who are very important to me. I've never met a feminist who hates all men. Hating men is very different from hating patriarchy. Uh-oh. Well, patriarchy doesn't exist, so, but, you know, okay. So you don't hate the, pa you don't hate men, you just hate this system of government designed by men to be beneficial to men. But you hate the system, not the men who created it. Okay, that makes sense. And even if a woman does feel a strong anger towards men in general, it is important to understand where this comes from. I am grateful and privileged to have grown up when, in a highly imperfect yet loving father and brother who I consider one of my closest friends. But not every woman has positive experiences with men. Not every woman feels safe in the presence of men, feels safe in her community or in her home. Well, you could say that about anyone. Not everyone feels safe around other men. Not everyone feels safe around other women. People have bad experiences. It's not just women who have these bad experiences. It's everyone. But your topic is more towards feminists, so I'll cut you a break. For many women, 
Anger is a rational response to irrational acts of physical, emotional, and sexual violence sanctioned by the patriarchy, a worldwide system of oppression. Okay, my blood is starting to boil, but again, she doesn't hate men. She just hates this system that she believes exists, even though it doesn't because it makes no logical sense on how it works. I mean, it's a system designed by men to favor men and oppress women, and yet it seems to oppress men much more than it oppresses women. So when I see a Tufts confession that says, I fucking hate the feminists who call themselves feminists here. Well, yeah, I'd be pissed off with that too. I fucking hate the feminists who call themselves feminists. That's like saying, you know, I hate marshmallows who call themselves marshmallows. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> just say you hate feminists and save yourself half a sentence. Female empowerment equals hate speech against men. True. I am reminded of the sad fact that in addition to many of the disagreements between feminists, there is so much misplaced resentment, confusion, and bigotry towards the very idea of feminism. Why do you think that is? Let, let me stop you here. Why do you think that there's so much of this? Could it be that there are individuals who scream the loudest in the name of feminism and gives feminism a bad name? It's not that people just want to hate feminism. It's that we gave feminism a chance to do something, and they used it to their own personal gain while trying to attack all of the men saying that all of the men are bad because all of the men represent the patriarchy. All men are rapists. We need to teach men not to rape. That men are just animals. We need to kill off 90% of the population of men to have a perfect society. That comes from the scum manifesto. <clears throat> okay, so let, let, let's continue. I thought about the phrase hate speech against men and decided to find out if such a thing could ever exist. It fucking does, you horrible bitch! After a few disheartening and frightening Google search, I found an article from Thought Catalog up called 20 Feminist Headlines That Count as Hate Speech If They Were Written About Jews. The first thing I noticed was that the, the article was nearly incomprehensible. Well, probably because it didn't support your threat narrative. It was written in list form as per usual style of the internet journalism, journalism in quotes, with each bullet point containing a headline from an online publication, usually in The Guardian or Jezebel, with words men and women replaced with Jews and Gentiles. Okay, so your complaint is that they didn't format it the way you want? Wow, stuck up bitch. Then, as I began to click the links to see where these headlines actually came from, I discovered an important detail that the author left out. About half the time, the word Jews was not simply replacing the word men, but men's rights activists. Isn't that ironic? In order to criticize feminists for being man-hating, it's necessary to rely on the claims made by actual hate groups such as men's rights organizations who base their entire values on misogynic lies. You fucking whore! Are you fucking kidding me? You're trying to convince me that women are not man-hating and that we cannot judge a whole group. We cannot judge the individual members by a whole group, and then you have the goals to say that men's right organizations are misogynistic? How fucking dare you? What right do you have? You don't win anything by saying, oh, the men's right organization are misogynistic lies. Isn't it ironic? Oh my God, do you actually hear yourself speak? I want you to take a fucking tape recorder and record yourself saying these idiotic things and then tell me if it still sounds logical to you. You want me to not judge feminism as a whole, but you want me to judge all men's rights organizations as being misogynistic, as being a hate group? Even if 
um, you wanted to say that there were individuals within the men's right organizations that were a hate group or misogynist or they were hateful and they were misogynistic. You would have still had me on your side just a little bit if you said that there were individuals within the men's right organization that were trying to do a good thing and we cannot judge the entire movement onto these individuals because that's what you're trying to convince me. You're trying to convince me that I cannot look at an individual feminist based on the entirety of feminism. But you want me to just accept that men's right organization is a misogynistic hate group. Well, bitch, I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because I'm part of men's rights organizations. I'm an ally with a voice for men. I'm a member of the Honey Badger Brigade. But let's continue. We will... When will people, not just people, but educated, tough students, because somehow they're better, stop responding to feminist discussion by insisting that we consider men's rights and men's feelings? These statements sound like gendered equivalent to of responding to Black Lives Matter and the patronizing reminder, reminder that all lives matter. Really? You don't want to be reminded that all lives matter. You just want to focus on women's rights, and you don't see a problem with that? We should only focus on women's rights because women have it so much tougher, but we don't hate anyone. We just hate the patriarchy and men's rights organizations. But women matter more. But... You don't want the patronizing reminder that all lives matter. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something really important. All lives fucking matter, you horrible cunt! When will Ben, who criticized feminism, stop feeling threatened and attacked by acknowledging that maybe, just maybe, they got where they are today, at least partly because certain systems are working to their advantage? What advantage? Tell me, tell me, what advantage do men have over women? Tell me. Go ahead, tell me. Give me five. Because I can give you so many things that work against men and the supposed patriarchy we live in. That we don't have rights. We don't have reproduction rights. That if a woman gets pregnant, a man is responsible. Unless she gives that child up for adoption, then the man stops being responsible. Or a woman gets an abortion, then the man stops being responsible. But if she decides to keep the child, the man is forever responsible for it. Even if he didn't give consent, if he was raped, he can still be financially responsible for a child that was conceived out of rape. If um, she stole his sperm, which these things happen. You might be like, oh, those are just one incident. No, they fucking happen a lot. The fact that men have to sign up for selective service and, and women don't. That's two. The fact that the court systems are prejudicial against men when it comes to divorce court, when it comes to family court when it comes to criminal prosecution. But those are just a few. So I invite you, you stupid whore, to go ahead and tell me what rights do men have that women don't. And don't give me that bullshit. Well, women feel scared walking down a dark alley at night because you know what? Men fucking feel that too. And maybe they're not afraid of being raped, but more men, men are more likely to be assaulted that women are to be raped. You wonder why people think you're man-hating? How about the fact that you just said that men's right organization is a misogynistic hate group? How about that little factor? Did that enter into it for you? Oh, let me see if there was any response to this. Sorry, I usually check this, so. 
Okay, it does. Okay, it doesn't look like there was. Oh my God, this is just heartbreaking. I mean, and someone wanted me to share the comments um, from these, and I'll start trying to do that. But unfortunately, um, there's just only the one. We will never stop exposing feminist lies. Never. If you need a trigger warning to get through the day, how can ev anyone ever trust you in a position of power? That's very true. You might have a meltdown and a crisis over an irrelevant trigger word. There's an interesting idea for a story. A uh, nuclear power plant is about to go uh, like China. Uh, what is that called? China meltdown? No. Um, China syndrome? Something like that. Basically about to go to full meltdown. And a woman who's in charge and has the ability to do it felt triggered by someone saying, uh, you know, the world is going to be incinerated. And she found incinerating to be a triggering word. How funny would that story be? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't save the world. I'm too busy crying in a corner because someone said a word that was relevant to the situation. <clears throat> Women are strong, but feminists make women into useless, quivering victims. Very true. We will never stop fighting your lives. Never, ever. I know I've seen this Bibo says. I don't know where, but I think I've seen it somewhere before. Maybe on Twitter or something. Anyways, that does it for um, my video. Uh, be sure to check out the Honey Badgers tonight in about an hour or so. And if you want a chance to get on and say something to the Honey Badgers, this is your chance. Uh, just be sure to tweet them at Honey Badger Bite um, with that little at symbol thingy. Um, or ask around on ExpoGate on what their name is and someone should direct you to it. Um, so anyways, that does it for me. This is Mad Cat signing off.